Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Harry Potter Summer 2021 review, and this one is on the Hogwarts Chamber Secrets, the biggest set of the lot of the wave, of course. Or one of the biggest sets of the wave, of course. So on the front of the box we have the logos, of course, and that interesting border that we have been seeing for this new wave, of course. The picture of the set that there is, of course. And all the main figs down below. 20 years of Lego Harry Potter, of course. And age recommendation 9 and up. Set number 76389 has uh, 1,176 pieces. And it flipped to the back to see the, the other view of it and how to how you can build and swap and things and also collectible wizard cards, six included, the most included in e any of these sets, of course. Now on to the manual, just a sec. So on the front of the booklet, same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey, all the pieces that come with the set which is four pages actually. Then add of the collectible wizard cards of course and how to build and swap of course. Okay. And then the last steps. And first off are, is the whole minifig selection which is a little does have a little bit of repetition and also some great things too. So first off we get Harry himself, which kind of the same as it's been for quite a bit of time. And of course holding the sword of Gryffindor of course. And we also get Tom Riddle, who we haven't seen in any sets for a long time, except for recently in a, uh, a DK book. But besides that, good printing, good like printing to him, and of course his important diary, of course. And also get Luna Lovegood with her Ravenclaw type outfit, as well as Colin, Colin Creevy, also done well, and also interesting use of the classic camera piece with a dish on it, make it one of those old style cameras and get Harry's future wife or yeah Harry's future wife Ginny Weasley also done quite well and a good use of that hair piece of course and also Justin Finch uh, Fletcher Fletchery yeah and of course holding the classic uh, green snake piece And then lastly, and then also get Dumbledore in his in a darkish pink outfit. Even though kind of reminiscent to that of the earlier Dumbledores, which were in purple, of course. But besides that, good skirt print, good torso print, and hairpiece, face print, and beard. Same as they've been for a while. And also get uh, Aurora Sinistra, which first time ever getting as well. Oh, which some good face print and some good prints for both torso and uh, skirt dress, of course, and also the hair hat combo piece, also done really well. And then less next to which is nearly headless Nick, a little similar to the uh, version we got in 2018, but however, the whole fig of which glow in the dark, but with which really cool, of course. Although, I think this does open a possibility for maybe, say, Moaning Myrtle also glow in the dark, obviously. But besides that, the uh, face print and all prints done really well, of course. And next to which is Gildroy Lockhart, kind of similar to what we got in the 2020 Diagon Alley set, of course. And But besides that, good torso print, nice uh, face print, but kind of a lack of leg print, but even though I don't think it's necessary, but whatever. And also, 
get all new pieces of the Cornish Pixies, of course, which are molded in this uh, uh, semi-trans blue color with some sparkles in it. Really nice, and just like Baby Groot in the uh, Marvel line, of course, got these couple of bar-ish arms to attach things on to, of course. And if look on the back of each of them, oh, you can see some of which do have some back torso prints, and all the Luna Love Goods also kind of the same as that, same for a while, and also the same with uh, Fleur Delacour and Lex Murphy in Jurassic World line, and also that same as Tim Murphy's. And of course, this face of which is quite suiting to that of Gildroy Lockhart, of course. And of course, Dumbledore having that uh, back torso print, probably for his usual hat for his earlier outfits, obviously. But overall, good mini fit, great mini fit selection, of course. Even though some face prints may be a little repetitive, but whatever. It's still good and all. And in terms of the 20th anniversary figs, here we have 20th anniversary Voldemort. Hey, hang on. Okay. So we do have so the the face print, torso print, and dress print, which uh, done really quite good, which similar as the regular versions, but still done well. And collectible minifig stand piece also in gold, good for mocking, and same with the wand piece in gold as well. And back torso print, 20 years of Lego Harry Potter, of course. And besides that, also also good to have. And. Last but not least, clear builds, or other builds, which is, of course, this new version of the Basilisk. And so now, as for this Basilisk, done quite well. At least quite a lot different than, say, the uh, kind of small cheap done version in the uh, 2018 Great Hall set, but also reminiscent of the other brick built one that we got in the 2002 Chamber of Secrets set, of course. But as for the like head part of which, kind of reminiscent to that of the dinosaurs in the Jurassic World line, of course, and same lower jaw piece as the Velociraptors in that line, of course, but besides that, Good printing for the eyes, and at least sculpted quite well, and at least good that does come in a point, of course. And odd thing how both eyes are the same, although what I think they also could have done is let one of them be all closed and bloody, since of course there's fox claws at the eyes, of course, even though that may have been a little too gruesome, but whatever. And speaking of fox, same piece as those piece as Fox's uh, neck area, but in sand green. Good for mocking, of course, and also a few of those pieces as well. And the center part of which has good use of those like uh, Chima clock pieces, of course, probably to represent other scales. And as for the tail part of which, uh, done quite interesting. Kind of like those older style ones, but instead of a pin coming out, instead it has the axle hole in it. Kind of interesting. And also, despite large gap in it, which I think should have been filled up, of course. And also the uh, tip tail part, same as it's been for a long time, and of course. Oh, whoops. And Overall, quite pleased with this basilisk. Although I think they should have had some like of those rounded, or rounded 
uh, upside down bricks as well to make it easy to slither and things, of course. But besides that, done quite well, this basilisk is. Oh, I forgot something. Also, we can get six of these collectible wizard cards, of course. And of course, I can name a couple of them, of which being one of, of Gildroy Lockhart and uh, something Hufflepuff. And as you see, a few repeats here, which. And of course, that's just by chance. Yours could, might also be repeats, but all the, they're randomly inserted in each one. You'd get different results. And now, on to the set. Right here. Oh, let me zoom on it. Well, this is as much I could get of it in all frame. But, and of course, like the other sets of this wave, it has... Oops, dropped something. It does have all the right little things. It does have some modulability to it, also like the other sets of this wave, of course. So, starting now with the most smallest build of which being this uh, entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. I think done quite well, like good use of all those like other snake pieces. And although could have had a like rounded plate like one of these ones go around it with a snake printed on it since of course in the movie a snake like comes right through it of course. And also quite asymmetric, like has some like trans green uh, tubes on one side and just one on the other. But it makes good sense to like have the hinge on there, of course. And also do get some cylinder bits of it atop and of course a traditional owl piece, of course. And on the side of it, back bar, which has a couple of those flat studs but with a but that are glow in the dark of course and a chocolate frog of course and speaking of which you do get a lot of these in this set of course which you'll see throughout the review yeah and now on to these other sections of which also do have some modulability to them like that Let's see where to begin. Oh, I guess probably this spot section, which, as you see, it's probably to represent the other side of the Great Hall. Which, if you have the 2018 Great Hall set, you can just plop it right beside it, of course. And of course, just like these other 2021 sets, you get sand green, of which reminisce, but of course, representing that of the original 2001 2 range, of course. And of course, simple tower above, along with these interesting uh, conish pieces, which can definitely be used with some power miners, mocks, and things. And of course, on the sides, do you have those little technical bricks to connect to other sections of it, and also those two other sets in this wave as well. And also, Good archway as those other ones as well, and also do get uh, what must be the other side of the great hall, or maybe uh, the uh, classroom of Gildroy Lockhart's, of course, because as well, this one of which does have a uh, catapultish kind of feature, probably represented the, as the dueling club, of course, have a couple of cops and. The owl piece in gold, of which 
to be a, a statue of one, of course. And above of which, and these top parts are also a bit modular. And of course, same kind of effect as those other uh, smaller sets, of course, where it's plates and a couple of jumpers, obviously. Whereas one side, which nothing but just this little checkerboard kind of thing, but good use of a lot of these candlestick pieces, and also do get couple of diamonds and translucent minifig head with some odd printing on it like we've seen in the fluffy encounter set and also interesting thing with these large things is that the shingles are held on by the shields that were previously used in Star Wars The Force Awakens waves of course but at least nice to get them in that color of course And also a crystal ball, of which, if I get that, made up of a glow-in-the-dark minifig head and Mysterio's uh, helmet or air dome piece, of which quite nice, good use of that. And also do get the Hogwarts logo banner, and underneath is of course, oh whoops, the sorting hat. Oh, which same as from the like 2018 uh, Hogwarts or 2018 uh, Great Hall set, of course. Although the other half of it is kind of this little section, of course, which does have a couple cereal boxes for cereal owls and pixie puffs, of course. It's kind of interesting, but bold stickers, and a croissant, and another chocolate frog, and a couple of teacups, of course. But if you were to display this, put this on a shelf, then this would kind of uh, make it jet out a little bit, and you can get this little extra space on there. And on to this other section. I would seem kind of window effect, and good use of those jagged slopes in uh, Sam Green, of course, and also a bit of snot right there with the tiles, and of course, Nexo Knight's shield in gray, like we've seen in the Fluffy Encounter set, or maybe it was the Polyjuice Mistake set, but whatever. Also modular is this little platform with few bricks and also clear stand. Probably to place your, place your nearly headless Nick minifig onto a course, and also you get another chocolate frog and also a little broom lying there. And turn around, and probably, or the actual version of Gildroy Lockhart's classroom, and do get a little portrait of himself that he can kind of bit communicate with, and also candle holder with a few candles on it, and the cone piece with a few glitter sparkles on it, of course, and classic skull, and yeah, that, and just like the other two, this specialty brick, removable as well. Although, what I think this also could have included was probably the dragon skeleton that falls down in this whole sequence when he lets out all the Cornish pixies, of course. Although the Dragon would have been a little too hard to make, and also bump the price of this setup a little. But hey, at least it couldn't kind of come in other ways, of course. Yeah. Into another section of which, which is half, one half of a, a tower with these interesting pieces that are kind of like those other, like these other pieces, but are more like put together or molded in together and curved sideways. Oh, it's really cool, kind of cool. And also do get those odd bricks in uh, gold, nice of that. And of course, a couple of plates above as well. And if you look from the inside, which is probably Gildroy's uh, office, I think. And another hair piece, of course. And also, of course, picture of Lockhart with the 
him on a broom, of course. And as for this top section, which same same cylinder piece or cone pieces as the other ones, of course. And another one of that as well. And also do get a little nest section for Hedwig or any other owl, of course. And also do get a little telescope with gold gem or trans green gems in them, excuse me. And technic ball joint piece in also glow in the dark, quite cool. And also do get this little map of which which if I get to focus a bit is a little constellation that makes up a uh, Tahu's mask from Bionicle, of course. Quite cool and all. Nice Easter egg appearance of it. And, and of course, also get the classic sextant and all the different directions it's pointing to, of course. Just let me get these on together. This on and this on, of course. And now on to the lower sections of which, like this one I showed previously, and also this one, which do come separate as well. And just like the 2018 uh, Great Hall set, those like corner pieces in dark blue representing the ocean or the lake water, of course. And what those Exo Force arms are for is. But you can pull this right out, and it also has a little, the little, uh, probably the, the basilisk fang that Harry uses to stab the book with, or Tom Riddle's diary with, of course. And of course, a few of those small, ugly rock pieces. And if you turn it inside, is another look of the Chamber of Secrets. It, the large statue that is, of course, the basilisk's entrance. Which, if you pull that part out, and of course, get your bas get the basilisk, and he can come slithering right through it, of course. And also for that is on each side is great use. Of these like uh, uh, cobra head pieces from Ninjago but in uh, light bluish gray and trans green it's quite cool and whatnot which you can definitely use for some uh, custom figs of that line of course and whereas the rest of which kind of hollow space of course Although, also what could have been possible is adding, oh wait, there is a couple of bones in this other section, this other section of which a couple, a few bones lying around represent other things that the basilisk ate up, of course. Although, it would have been interesting if had, like, the basilisk's headpiece, but in white and printed to be its, its bare skull, like in Deathly Hollows, of course. But besides that, the rest of which... Just very few bricks on one side, which and also slide to slide down into. Since, and of course, if you have the like Polyjuice Mistake set, you can place that right on top of it, and the trapdoor feature would go right down into it, of course. And let me get this on, of course. And although, do have a few like of these uh, grayish Technic pins, of course, but although some of which are just to be placed off to the side, like extra pieces, of course. But I think they should be around there, so it doesn't come apart quite so much, of course. And how they line up like that, line up pretty well. And with the course four of the small ugly rock pieces all together and a little in sync, but of course, and also can put the entrance way also like that. And 
let me get these all together. Oh, wait, hang on. So, my overall verdict is. Oops. So, my overall verdict on this set, I think it would be a quite cool set for this wave. Quite cool. Like, quite nice minifig selection. Like, obviously, Glow in the Dark, Headless Nick, and of course, Tom Riddle and whatnot. And of course, also, some nice and great inclusions of both the new version of the Basilisk and the Cornish Pixies, obviously. Which I hope do come in other sets in the future. And of course, the modularity of it, well reminiscent of the original 2002 Chamber Secrets and other sets from that time, of course. And of course, and also a good little Easter egg of, of Bonacle Tahu in that uh, star map, of course. And of course, a lot of chocolate frogs, which if you are to make something that includes a lot of chocolate frogs, of course. And of course, there's Golden Voldemort, which is good inclusion to it, of course. Although he could have come in a much cheaper set, but whatever. And of course, if you have the other two sets of this wave, then good to expand upon, as well as connect with the other Hogwarts sets from 2018 through 20, of course, which I see other people also do, of course. And overall, and if you're looking to get this set for your Hogwarts display, definitely pick this up. And if you are looking to get this for your or Lego Harry Potter collection, then also definitely pick it up. And that's about it with this video. Well, if you have the money and can afford, also worth the pickup. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.